yeah hello for guys welcome back to my channel so i'm here at the good luck plaza here in mount Druid. this is where um we come to get our asian sources and stuff like that how are you guys doing i haven't been uploading for a while because i've been just doing a whole lot of stuff and just to try and you know recruit from a lot of things that's happening around me but right now i'm back to <laughs> filming again i hope you guys are keeping well and yep let's go and do a little bit of shopping i'm not here for a whole lot of stuff i'm here to get some stuff for supper sweet my niece is having a birthday this coming saturday and um i thought i'll, I'll make something to take you know as a help for whatever they're putting together yep okay that's cool Give me two, one to make and one to keep in my cupboard. Mm -hmm. I want to get me some coconut creams. I like these little boxes. They come handy for coco lisa. So these little boxes are handy. This is for a seasoning. Most of us islanders, we like mushroom sauce. Soy sauce, that is. Over here, you get all these um, herbs and spices. All this is dedicated to the herbs and spices, even this other side here. They have a um, char grilled chicken seasoning and they're going for 320. Gotta grab me a bag of Seiko because every time we have um, overripe bananas, I always like to make us a sofa. And that's $1.60. I feel that this is like the Filipino section. Mm -hmm. They even have the sweet spaghetti, which the Filipinos love to make. And I love having that. Do you know I uber eat me um, sweet spaghetti, you know, because I love it. I love it, yum. Look up here, guys. They got for $1.70, a quick marination for your pork sticks. I think I'll take a bag and give it a go and see how it tastes like. If it tastes like the real thing, because my daughter, she's so obsessed with these uh, pork sticks. So I'm gonna take it home and I've got some pork at home too, so I can make it and I'll let you guys know how it went. Look at this guys, they have mango puree in a box and that's $8. Hmm, that's six dollars, so that's slightly uh, cheaper. And it says it has no artificial flavor and um, color added. I don't know, they could say that, but it might still have it. I have some bay leaves here. So, bay leaf, um, no. Oh, look at this, guys. 
great tower leaves for 320. Oh, how cool. If you're into that kind of thing. But anyway, bay leaves, can't they just have like a packet that has only four bay leaves? Um, so they have a bigger bottle of the liquid seasoning. And they're going for $15. So I'll take this. The Mamacita's uh, barbecue marination. That's always good to have. And at the moment it's going for six eighty. Oh, a bit sticky the bottles. Yeah, I'll grab this one because this one is pretty sticky. Um, yeah, Mamacita's marination. It's good to have that in your cupboard, guys. If you marinate your meats with that or chicken, it always gives you a, a good flavor. And this as well, the liquid seasoning. So if you marinate your stuff, you can have a nice feed with those sauces. You can always get um, the magic syrup because that's even good too. That's really good, you know, the chicken flavored one. And this is good. That's just a top up for your Add when it empties out. And I'll get this one because this is the one I usually get. I almost didn't see it. You know this guys. This one's got a nice uh, sweetness to its flavor. Sweet chili sauce is nice. You know most of them are. But this one I used to buy all the time. I think I bought it so many times that I got kind of sick of it. It's good to have a sesame um, oil in your cupboard as well, guys. This one's $7.90. You can get um, smaller bottles, but if you want something to last a while, you go with this one, because it's a bigger bottle. And you can, you know, use it in your food whenever you need it. It just changes the flavor in your cooking, that's all. I think I'm going to buy me some tomato sardine. I haven't had that for a while. Um, what I like to do, I, I like frying them and then make sandwiches out of it. Or make a toast and after frying it with heaps of onion, you spread it on the toast. And that's 480. I like coming down to this side of the, the shop because it has um, like different kinds of oh I need a can opener too which one is the good one because my can opener you know how you you open a can and it just twirl around and around yeah well that's what my can opener is doing right now so ah yeah look no, this is 360 and you get this you can cut your cucumber or your carrots in a nice little fancy way fancy spancy Mm -hmm. Man, I love coming shopping by myself. I have no kids to say, don't buy that. No, you buy that. You know, it's so annoying. Like, um, are you going to pay for it? If you don't pay for it, shp, shp. You know, the old people say, sippy. <laughs> Look at this, guys. Think about plastic. If it's not that really strong plastic, it'll eventually snap. But anyway, I got one. Not like this. But I got a steel one, so if you don't need it, don't buy it. Oh, what a big bill of guy. I'm a random shopper, guys. Oui. Grandma, are you for you? Like maybe, yeah? It's like a little stir fry spoon for two dirty. I think it wants to find my my uh, little cart there. <laughs> no, these things are handy to have, guys. Trust you me. You know these things here? They're really good for pangeke, you know? The round pangekes, you just get this, collect all your round pangekes, and if you got heaps of pangekes, get this big one. Nice little walk. 
the one I've got at home. <laughs> Just for my mixed veggies. When I boil mixed veggies to have on the side for my family to eat. These are those plunk, plunk, plunks. They're good for barbecues, you know, when your hands are burning and like, ouch. You just grab one of these and they're really... I always test it first to see if they're really soft to squeeze. If they're soft to squeeze, that's the good one. In my mind, anyway, because with these arthritis hands, I need a soft one. These are going for $1.70. What's this one? Oh, this is a big one. I think I'll go for the bigger one. Oh, yeah, this is a good one. Yeah, man, yeah. Look, guys, if you want perfect round eggs, you can get that frying pan. And it's $39. Easy egg, guys. You put the water right in the middle and you cover the, the top with a foil or something. And then you have over easy eggs without turning it over. I'm gonna buy a bag of cassava. They're going for 540. Dumplings for 640. Hmm. No, I like the pork one. And they're going for seven bucks. And when I think about it, I'll put it back because I got pork at home I can friendly slice. Because going at that price, I can friendly slice mine that I got from Costco. They're looking for banana leaves. They got it here. The big one is seven eighty, and the little one is five sixty. Look, guys, they have um, lemongrass. How cool is that? Oh, so the small one is one fifty, and the bigger one is a three twenty. How handy! Now, this is my last bit of shopping. This is coconut drink, guys. My kids always want these coconut drinks. Uh, they're 180, so I'll take some. I'll take like two each per child. So. And then one for me. I'll probably never see it because they'll hide it and, you know, drink it by themselves. It's handy to have um, one of these because you can chop up your meat in sl uh, small pieces and fry it with that. My kids like um, hoikin noodles, so Hoika noodles it is. I'll just take me a sour soap drink. Done my shopping for the day. Well, my Asian shopping that is. Because this is the stuff I need. I haven't come here for a while. Just been staying at home. So now I'm gonna go and pay. I'll go behind that guy there. Mm -hmm. 
not too bad, but it's gonna be heavy. Thanks for joining me guys. It's time to go home now. I'm so puffed up walking out.